Hey, what's happening all you most amazing top teners? This is gonna be a really fun video for you guys. Okay, so I've been going to the gym lately and I've learned a thing or two or 10 things and I'm willing to share it with you guys. So this right here is the top 10 types of people at the gym. So starting us off like we always do, in at number 10, we have the beast that never works out. These are men who go to the gym, they have muscles on top of muscles. They clearly have been working out for years and they eat whole chickens every other hour. But the biggest question is, when do they work out? It's for sure not in front of people because you never see them. Okay, whenever I go to the gym, I always try to like secretly stare at the bigger people to see like what they do because like I want that. I want those muscles. But you never see them lifting weights. Maybe they know smaller people are staring at them like me and they don't want them to become bigger because they won't look as big. So they just do it on their own time. They just go to the gym to look good. Moving into number nine, we have the grunters. Ugh. This could be a guy or a girl, a muscular person or a slim person. But when this person works out, they need to let you know about it. <laughs> and then you look over, you're like, oh my God, this beast is lifting something. And it's like five or 10 pounds. So it's like, what the heck is going on? And then you're thinking maybe there's like a hot girl around you and the guy's trying to impress her. It's like their maiden call. Ugh, come over here. I'm lifting these weights. These the grunters are louder than tennis players at times. It's so crazy, bro. <laughs> Relax, you might pull your mouth muscle. Number eight, we have the groupies. The groupies are usually bros. They love to work out together in packs, as if they're wolves. And they must hunt and kill together, searching for their next machine. This is usually a group of like four to six people, and they feel the need to travel in a pack occupying the limited gym equipment. When the groupies come to the gym, other people always have to plan around them, like take a number, like when can I use this machine? They always take forever, and when you look at them, they're always just talking, they're not working out. Like go to the mall or something. All right, up next we have the inventor. The inventor is someone who always does like complex workouts that I've never seen before. They invented it. It's usually the most ridiculous workouts ever. And it makes you question like, are they doing this correct? But then you see them and realize that they're just like a normal sized person. In fact, they're like anorexic. So they have no muscles to show that their inventions work. And then you're thinking, should you help them? I mean, no way I'm an expert at like these inventions, but I should tell them sometimes, I should step in there. Number six, we have the flash. This person always amazes me to how fast they do every single workout. It's almost like they're in a rush to go do something. Like bro, you should have timed this out a little bit better. Flash is always someone who takes the bench press and the rope will like 50 reps in four to five seconds. They should get like a world record or something. And then they rest for 20 seconds. And then they're back at it again. You don't know if they just had a seizure, if you should call 911 or what the heck is happening. Are you about to miss a flight? Okay, the good looking girl is up next in at number five. The good looking chick is usually female and they're just there to look good. I'm not really sure their mission, like is it to like try to get fit, but they don't really need one because they're already fit. These girls always come to the gym with their makeup on. Good looking chicks always wear like the TNA pants, the sports bra, and their workouts consist of only butt workouts and leg workouts. They'll take any machine and they'll do a butt workout or a leg workout on. Number four, we have the strongest man in the world who isn't actually too strong. I know you guys are probably like, Landon, what the heck are you talking about? This makes no sense. Okay, let me explain because you're right. That is actually very confusing. So what do I mean by this? Well, this is a person who would stack up like two, okay, maybe like four plates, like those 45 plates on each side of the bar. They try to bench press like 400 pounds and then you always look at them and notice how small they are and then you're like, holy crap. This guy is about to lift that. That is incredible. The strongest man in the world who isn't strong would then attempt to lift the weight and impressingly enough, boom, he gets it up there and now they're struggling to survive. Like they're shaking like crazy. Their arms are shaking, there's sweat flying everywhere. I mean, you're about to witness death and they're praying to God, oh my God, I just wanna get this bar back up there. And then after all of that, they repeat. They do it all over again. <laughs> okay, so you guys are probably curious now, what is number three? Because we've had a lot of craziness so far. Well, we have the fans. These are people who are mega fans of you and they want to know your whole workout. They stare into your soul to see how you got big. Every machine you go to, they find an open machine right next to you. If there's a bro in the machine, they just like pay them off. It's like, yo, can I use this machine? They find a way. Sometimes they literally bump into you and they grab the same weight as you. Bro, you can't lift that. 
why don't you start off in the beginner rack? Number two, it's time to flex because we have the flexor. This is someone who flexes their body to see the result. The only thing is, I don't know if they work out or when they work out. And then I become a fan of them and then I start staring at them like so awkwardly and then it's the most awkwardest thing ever when they catch you staring at them and it always happens. So now I just got caught staring at his like biceps, his muscles and now he thinks I'm probably into him. So now this is like a whole awkward situation. But you know what, people always say that you make gains by putting your muscle under tension. So by flexing, you're putting your muscle under tension and there's blood flowing out. So did this guy just figure it out? Finally, we've made it into number one. We have who I think is the most annoying person at the gym. We have the hoarder. This is someone who claims 10 machines and they don't want to give any of them up. They go from machine to machine and when they're not using the current machine and you want to use it, they do not allow you because it's theirs. They're like, bro, I'm still using this machine. Yeah, well, you know what? You're using this machine, that machine, and that machine over there. The hoarder thinks they need to do a whole body workout and they need to do it all at once in like a circuitry or something. Well there you guys have it. That's the top 10 people at the gym. These are people that I've witnessed. Let me know if I've missed any in the comment section below. This was a whole lot of fun to make guys and I'll see you guys all in the next one. So let me know what you guys think of this video. What types of people do you have at your gym? Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys like this video, don't forget to share it around, hit that like button, and also subscribe if you do enjoy it. Once you subscribe, as soon as I make a video, which is every single day, we're actually going twice a day, you guys will be notified right away, and you can be one of the first ones to watch. That's it for me, I'll see you in the next one, bye.